सचिन जोशी आए हैं तेलुगु वॉरियर्स के लिए इनकी जब भी हम तारीफ करते हैं कोई ना कोई ब्रेक थ्रू जरूर निकल के आता है प्रोड्यूसर हैं एक्टर हैं बॉलीवुड में भी काम कर चुके हैं और सैंडलवुड में भी काम कर चुके हैं टॉलीवुड में भी काम कर चुके हैं मल्टी टैलेंटेड है प्रोड्यूसर भी हैं ये और साथ ही साथ निवेश भी करते हैं होटल्स चलाते हैं और काफ़ी खुश मिसाज मिजाज माफी चाहूँगा और ये बड़ा शॉट खेलने की कोशिश कहाँ तक पहुँचती है और क्रॉसेस द बाउंड्री देखिए यहाँ तारीफ कर दी कई बार कमेंटेटर कर्स हो जाती है पर जी हाँ बहुत बढ़िया क्रिकेटर है पर पहली गेंद जो थी शॉट ऑफ लेंथ और अब यहाँ पे प्रहार करते हुए ये क्षमता है रांची में ये मैं बात कर रहा था जब मौका मिलता है अपने हाथ खोलते हैं और ताकत भरपूर बैट फ्लो देखिए जबरदस्त तो स्वागत इतना अच्छा नहीं है सचिन जोशी का हालांकि पिछले मुकाबले में याद है दो जल्दी विकेट इनको मिल गए थे विनीत अच्छा कार्य किया था और इस बार बैकफुट पे पर खिलाड़ी डीप में तैनात मैं कह रहा था वो विश्वास झलक रहा है राजीव की बल्लेबाजी में और आत्मविश्वास वो संबल है जो रास्ते की सारी बाधाओं को धराशायी कर देता है वेल दे नीड अ गुड पार्टनरशिप दे नीड टू होल्ड ऑन टू द फोर्ट दे डेफिनेटली नीड टू कम अपर विनिंग इनिंग्स ओवर हेयर एंड लाइक आज सेड Sachin Joshi would want to make an impact give a breakthrough to his team his captain is very hopeful that this will be the over and that's a big shot and it's punched away and it'll cross the boundary for a big six so back to back six is coming and Sachin Joshi will not be a happy man time to go back into a huddle and figure out what is he doing wrong and this has been a very productive over for the strikers Earlier we saw Rajiv now it's Arun Beni uh, just going rocking on the back foot playing in the gap that's a good shot once again Runs are coming uh, for the strikers Once again pulled away just bowling a touch shot uh, Sachin Joshi in this over just bowling a bit flatter as well not giving the ball much air well, Running between the wickets has been a crucial aspect uh, of ccl so far and the way the teams have taken running between the wickets to a you know a serious level is commendable well they are going for the big shots but they are also realizing the fact that running between the wickets is what is going to get them across to a good total and that's plucked away again and it will cross the rope for another six oh ho ho 20 runs coming so far from this over in five balls and sachin joshi will not be a happy man it's perhaps time for us to stop complimenting him the last ball of the over and sachin joshi has been hit across the park on three occasions the third six in this over and that's a clobbered once again on the on side nicely picking that one now expensive over already conceding got 20 runs in this over joshi this is just the kind of over you want up just getting the impetus at the moment the strikers from this over this time a full toss the split on the on side is clearing the infield won't be a four should stop it ball uh, the slowing down in the deep but that's good running once again very good over for the strikers 23 runs coming from this over 48 for one and they've got uh, 43 of the last 20 balls in this partnership fantastic stuff that's good bowling good come back ball from khayum who's starting a fresh over in fact if you look at uh, khayum the previous over bowled really well deceived the batsman in the air wearing his speed and now the first ball uh, almost it got yoked and see your bulldozer uh, faces uh, here they are watching the proceedings of the uh, this final live from uh, rajiv gandhi international cricket stadium hyderabad the game that they played against the mumbai heroes seemed to be an aberration both teams getting over 100 runs No other teams managed that so far in the tournament. It's well fielded. Uh, we'll come back for the second. It's good That's running. Fifty on the board. Absolutely, it's a very good running between the wickets. Rajiv uh, pushing himself. That's uh, Kicha Sudip, the captain of Bulldozers, encouraging the uh, the team, two finalist teams. Very important to be part of this uh, setup. Well, his team didn't make it uh, to the finals this year. They've been uh, champions twice. Remember the Karnataka Bulldozers, but his team holds the distinction of scoring the the highest runs 
uh, this season. 125 is what uh, the Kerala Bulldozers, uh, Karnataka Bulldozers got. And this is Stumpy Johns corner begging. Kayum thought he had his man. The keeper fumbled it. Another one, second time in succession. The previous over also, Kayum got uh, Rajiv. But the keeper missed it. Again, the keeper missed it. That's a good trap. He missed it nearly. That's an important wicket if you would have got it. These two batsmen from Kerala Strikers are the ones to be watched. Can you lip read and understand Telugu, Sunil? It's absolutely impossible. I don't want to say that on an on, on-air broadcast, but I'm sure they weren't very kind words on Christmas. That's another one from uh, Raji. I'm sure here Kayum is being very, very tactically is bowling well. You gotta give it to them. That one over for 23 was an aberration. Barring that, I think uh, the uh, Telugu Warriors have uh, bowled excellently, and the fans are pretty, pretty happy with that. Absolutely, you know the crowd has come all the way, uh, you know, to cheer the home team. To win the championship again. As the one from uh, Aroni missed it. And the fielder doesn't miss it. That's the celebration from the Telugu Warriors. Kayum finally struck. Take another look at that dismissal. Again, slower delivery. He was through the shot, got a leading edge. Vishwa, smart catch. An even better celebration. Yes, you've got it. Absolutely, you know, if uh, Sanju Salim, the man on the focus today, if Kerala strikers need to win, this man needs to fire. And along with Rajiv, they need to put up a score close to 100 Raman. The Kerala strikers coming for the first time in the finals of this CCL T10 blast. They need to win this. They should get a good score to close to 100. It's a smart move. Take the single, keep the strike. The set batsman, six overs gone. It's 52 for two. 